Isn't this like the place where you could see the stop and swap thing? Um. No. No, it is. I think it's a different. I think it's the one with the Jinjo. It's a Jinjo one. Learn to play dunk. Welcome back. Hello. I uh. Have you decided? No. <laughs> so I pulled that little piece of poop off my pants. <laughs> It's flapping around, it's like you're a diarrhea. I saw a documentary, a really nice documentary. Also, I, you know how I haven't told you anything about what happened on my trip to the place? Mm -hmm. uh, part of that is because you never asked me because you don't like me, and part of that is because I wanted to save it. <laughs> because now stories are commodities, and if I can tell them on this show, it's better. Mm -hmm. So I have stories to tell you is what I was going to say. Okay, good. I was going to ask you, but then you didn't tell me, and I thought he doesn't like me, so he does not going to tell me. Because he didn't talk to me the whole fucking trip. What is it really when he came back, he barely talked to me. He didn't say nothing to me. Now, oh. <laughs> you guys have always had trouble communicating, okay? But what you need to do is go to therapy. Is this so Phil? we've got lines. Yeah, I don't know how to do Dr. Phil accent, so I just use kind of a weirdly, <laughs> vaguely southern accent. That's the best I can do. So... Uh, anyway. On the phone, we got a wonderful therapist. <laughs> Dr. Robert Costas. Isn't Bob Costas a real person? <laughs> I feel like he was a sports announcer. Costa? Is it Bob? Costa or Costas? I had a dance teacher named Mr. Costa, and he died of cancer. He did. Wait, was he Brazilian? I feel like he, he might have been. I, can't, I don't actually know. I didn't pay enough attention. I had a dance teacher, and I'm pretty sure his name was Costa. Did he die? And he died. From cancer. He might have been. It might have, might have been the same. he was Brazilian. And he had a wife. And his wife took over the dancing. Was he like pretty fit? Yeah. And kind of, like he had slightly gray hair. Like but he kind of had gray like, hair. like brown, dark brown curly hair. Yeah. It was pretty short. Holy fuck. Yeah. Did we have the same oh, dance teacher sometimes? The same sometime? dance teacher? The same dance teacher. Whoa, no way. fucking hell. He must have gone around to like a bunch of different schools. We used to call him Mr. Whoa. Pasta because we thought it was hilarious. We did too. Oh, no way. That's awesome. I mean, if you're kids, you expect the kids are all going to make the stupid, yeah. same same stupid puns. But And one wow. time in dance class, I made a really silly face because I was just like goofing off because I liked goofing off by myself. And he, he told <laughs> well, me, no one wanted he, to goof off with me. So he, Where's the he, told me, he told me to stop doing it. <laughs> and I felt really bad. And then, and then he, he died. died. <laughs> and then I felt even It was because worse. of that face that you made. Yeah. You got too stressed out. I really do not know where the last present is. I can't Sorry, remember. Sorry, I'm, I'm just still blown away. That we had, yeah, that no, that's really cool. Dance teacher and it was in, I think it was like second grade for me, second or third grade. Yeah, same with me. And then by fourth grade, he was off this earth. So. Yeah. <laughs> he was into the yeah, He was, you know, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it sucks, but like, it's that's natural. Mm hmm. Death is a shitty thing that's natural. Anyway, a long time ago, I wanted to tell you that I saw this documentary that made me... I don't know why, but sometimes animals make me cry because I love them so much. Oh, oh my Just god, me too. Animals in general. <laughs> me too. And I was watching a documentary about people who make prosthetics for animals. Aww. And it was so nice. Aww. They made a fake tail for this crocodile. They made a beak for this goose. They made legs for this doggy. It was just... People who devote their life to doing stuff like that just make me so happy that I, I want to cry. Animals. Oh, is the last one in the tree? I, that's what I was just thinking. Oh, I can't get in there unless I'm a smelly bear. <laughs> God dang it. A sticky dang bear. But yeah, it was really, really interesting just seeing all the people. Like, they brought this freaking goose in and they like, put it to sleep and then they gave it a beak. Like, Not like... to sleep forever, <laughs> just temporarily. <laughs> Shh, Mr. Goose. Yeah, and the goose was like, what are you doing? And they were like, oh, we're just giving you a beak. Imagine if the walrus took off and flew. Yeah, I was, I don't know why, just muscle Car memory, I was trying to go up there. But, uh, yeah, I think I gotta change back. I don't think there's anything else you can do as a walrus in this garbage, aside from get that one puzzle piece. No, but there's a bunch of, uh, music notes around in the water, so I guess I'll take a glance for those. You know, first. I don't know what the fuck I want to answer to this guy's shit. You're very angry. I am, because I'm just thinking, I don't want to kill Crom or Levi. I don't want to. And I don't want to friendzone them. If I friendzone them, you does do, that mean that they're in love with me? Do you? Re I'm not sure. Like, it's fine if not, but do you, you do realize you don't actually have to do this, right? Well, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. But you don't actually have to kill them, is what I'm saying. You know You know this is pretend? No, I know. I think I'd actually want to kill Garrus, because I, I think my soul would be so troubled that I would have murdered Crom or Levi. If you did? Yeah. If I, like, murdered Crom, But because Garrus kind of looks different from you and you're a racist, <laughs> then that's okay. No, I just, I don't love Garrus as much as I love Crom and Levi. That's fair. I think it depends on how recently you played Mass Effect. Mm. 
That's true. Oh my fucking GERD! I can't! Well, you keep working on that problem, I sign. Okay, but if, will... if, 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 if... I give up. If. I'm not looking for notes anymore. I'm just gonna turn back. Okay, if... Where's the place? If he's friends, though, does that mean that he gets to marry someone else? Oh, sure. Does Krom yeah. marry well, he can do that whatever stupid he wants. bitch? What stupid... Oh, Sumia? Yeah. She's not stupid, and she's not a bitch. That's a derogatory word. She's dumb. Uh, says... I hate her. Yeah. I hate her. Uh... She's trying to steal saying? my love from me. Yeah. This is a scary face. Anyway. <laughs> well, that was a waste of 15 mumbo tokens. Oh, well. But you got the puzzle from the walrus. One puzzle. Yeah. I think you can get, like, three if you spend them on the pumpkin, right? I think so. It's way more economical to spend them on the pumpkin. Give me my tokens back. <laughs> Whatever. He says I ate them all. Oh, well. Oh, my God. Still working on that question, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, we have to do another listener question at some point. I need these. We'll do another listener question. <laughs> While you wait for to answer the first one. Oh, yeah. This one's from Matthew Amel. Sometimes or my... Or Emil. No, okay. Amel. Do you like today's music? Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh, no, you're gonna die. Yep. Please, I'm Christ. Trouble. Like, I just wasn't paying attention to the timer because I was trying to listen to you, and I can really hear it because the TV volume's kind of low. Mm -hmm. So now I gotta find some health. If I die, we're done with this level. Okay. But you gotta give the presents to the little babies. Yeah, you're right. What are you doing? Wait, who, me? <laughs> I'm fine. Do you like today's music? Wait. I don't, because I hate everything pop and nasty. Isn't it? But I'm just what? kidding, it's not uh, for, nasty. Right, first, like if it. you want to ask me a question like this, you have to define for me today's music. What I think he mean? means like... The, like The current top 40? Yeah, I think, yeah. I so think today's like. music is top 40, so it's not music of today, because today there's probably more great music out there today than there ever has been, just because the internet lets there be more. Mm -hmm. But if you're talking about top 40... I think that's what the person means. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just giving him a hard time. <laughs> I'm trying to convince him that labels are stupid, but I don't even know why I'm trying to do that on a video game show. <laughs> oh, no! Woo! <laughs> See that shit? Mm. Uh, I'm fine. This is, I'm, this is World War II. Bomber jet. B <laughs> B-12. Kazooie, do you read me? Do you read me? <laughs> yes, Kazooie, Kazooie. We got flat coming from both sides. We got, it. we got hit in the wing. We're taking a left. I mean a right. We almost got hit by a bomb. <laughs> Kazooie, what's going on back there? Wait! What? Oh, you got to erase that, that's that clown. Going. Wait, where does the... That's the end, right? Where's the yeah. start? I gotta do the presents first, don't I? I think the start's like... Where did I say the last present I think was? it's like there. Oh, man. No, but I gotta do... I'm gonna do the presents, because okay. the presents are... The tree. Yeah, there it is. Should I jet bomb to it? No! <laughs> I would die. Um, I'm probably gonna die anyway, if we're being honest. You're really struggling with this I question. I am. I hate it. I hate it. I fucking... I don't want to kill Garrus either. I don't want to kill any of them. Can I Garrus marry die them in all. any of the Mass Effect games? Yes. Probably, right? Ooh, uh, he's probably going to die in mine, knowing my luck. I'm probably going to play that second one soon. I think it's been long enough. Hey, there there's, there's that son of a gun. And you can kill that guy if you think you're good enough. <sighs> Ooh, I oh, miss. my God. <laughs> there we go. Um... Yeah, I'll kill Garrus. All right, Garrus is dead. Now you just got to find out who you're more comfortable being friend zoned by. So does that mean I'm friend zoning them or no, they're friend? No, they're friend zoning you. So oh. no matter how much you love them, they just aren't into I'm you like that. Maybe like Cordelia and Fire Emblem. Exactly. Oh no. Where's that other mouse? There he is. Mouse. He looks like a mouse. It's a mouse without hair. Come on. And a tail and ears. And what's is there anything else? Up and here? a lot I think of it's legs. Just like eggs and <laughs> a few extra legs for mouse, Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think it's just, what, feathers, eggs, that kind of garbage? Yeah, okay. You know, I think I'd actually be a little bit comfortable with being friend-zoned by Levi. Why? Because he's kind of weird? Yes, and also because, like, I just feel like if I was in that world, I wouldn't be as, like, <laughs> I wouldn't be as skillful in Levi. I would probably think I'm, like, really dumb and would get well, really No, this isn't me. the real world. This isn't in... This isn't like you're teleported to the world of the character. Mm -hmm. This is like they show up in real life. Mm -hmm. mm. So Levi's skills are worth nothing, and he just cleans a lot, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think. Take I'd... this damn. <laughs> Take your presents. fucking present. Thank you, brown bear. Yeah, I think I'd be fine with being friend zoned by Levi and Mary, Mary Crow. All right, we fine. Congratulations. I did it. I did it. We did it. I. You did it. My soul hurts. No. Just thinking about it? It just hurts. Because I, I had to go through each and every one of them, 
imagining myself strangling them. Is that the and watching their life of death? Yeah, and I'm watching their life drain from their face. Oh, I'm just eggs back here. Okay. Because I could just, I just imagine strangling Crom and how much it hurt. Because I ma imagine the scene in Fire Emblem Awakening where like he dies, and you know in the beginning like where he's like dying. He's like, it's not your fault. Oh, yeah, that's right. I just it's imagine that. And I was like, ha, ah. It hurts too much. All right, mm. where's the beginning of this race, you thought? Uh, up somewhere. Here? Yeah, it was like somewhere on the I think the it is shows. up here, actually. Yep, you were right. Or we were right, or whoever the hell suggested it. Am I at 100 yet? Oh, I'm so close. Which ones am I missing? Probably some stupid ones on in the, the water. I'm Did not you going get the up ones there. The Screw the hat. I should try to get 99 again, though. You're too big. Oh my fucking! I thought you had to race this banjo. That's what I thought. Dang it! Gold. Should I give up on this stupid level? Yeah, if you want to. We've already got a bunch of things. Get on the sled. See, I'm not too big. It's fine. <laughs> no, he's no. too big for his sled. Where's Mumbo? There he is. Shoot! Ah. Sniped. <laughs> Sniped in Baghdad. I want to ask another Baghdad. question. This is freaking. What was the question that was actually the question for today? Do you today? like today's music? Right, right, that's right. Oh, you or, know what? music from today. I mean, I can, I can dig some of it. Like, music, like, I can, you know, I don't like it, mm -hmm. but sometimes I'm like... Because objectively speaking, something like Taylor Swift is not any more or less uh, truly musical or intricate than something like Hatsune fucking Miku. God. <laughs> Where's the nearest... You know what? We're done with this level. How many, how many ding dinghies do I have? 16? That's enough, right? Screw this. Please I, don't die, because then you you're quit? gonna... Oh, no. Ugh. You're not gonna get the 99 or whatever. I'm or not wait, getting oh, the 99 anyway. Oh, no, it still saves the 95. So yeah, it does save the 95, but... I hate this level. I like it for, like, maybe two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay, I was trying to leave anyway. Wow! Your best no score for this world is... 95. <laughs> Your best note score for this world is 95. I want to ask another question. Why? Because we don't have anything to talk about? No, because my soul honestly hey. hurts from thinking about you need fucking Crom, Garrison, Levi. How, how much time do we have left in this episode? Let Roughly. us see. If I can do math. Which I can't. What, like two minutes left or something? No, because we start at 27. Yeah, so we have two 10. minutes left. Oh. Right? Yeah. Alright. Well, then I won't tell my story, but I will tell you... I can't remember. Do you think Chris Pine is attractive? He's the Star Trek dude, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's cute. Okay, cool. I got a story about him. Oh, should I do Gobi's Desert? Yeah, should I do Gobi's Desert? <laughs> also, there's a story about Seth Rogen and a story about um, Liam Hemsworth. You didn't meet them. Uh, should we do Gobi Desert? We should. Yeah, just get some of the bullshit. How do you... Where's the place for Mumbo... No, or for the mansion. There's any other place. Okay, whatever. Do one more question, and then we'll be done. All right. It's from JackRule27. says, Who is the most attractive real-life male and female, in your opinion, and of the two, who is the sexiest? I pick for male, just because I'm in this kind of mood. I pick the child of Gordon Ramsay and Loki from The Avengers. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. What? What's wrong with Gordon Ramsay? Who? Chef, Who? Chef Gordon Ramsay? No, who's the child of them? I don't know, just if they had a child. <laughs> you made like a face like you were gonna vomit. <laughs> well, who do you pick then, Lady in the, in the Lady Michael in the Tramp? Michael Fassbender. Really? Yeah. He's gonna be Steve Jobs. I love Michael Fassbender. Where's the... We're going out this door. Nope, we're going out. There it is. Yeah, he's pretty cool. The female? It's the most attractive female. I still think my girl from Paramore is pretty attractive. Mm. And this is judged purely on physical appearance, correct? I gotta yes. get the stupid boots. No, I don't. You can, they can't tell me what to do. Can you, will you be able to make it? Yeah, just get a little bit hurt. Little sand snakes. Or maybe Sandy will survive in here. It's not worth the extra time to get the booties. Uh. Who else is like a really attractive female? I can't think of anybody. <laughs> oh. Um. Um, um, keep thinking Olivia Wilde. I mean, she's, she's very pretty. I mean, there are a lot of pretty people in the world. Yeah. Most people are pretty pretty. Yeah. Um. Who's the most attractive YouTube person, Aisha? 
Uh, Aside from you. I was gonna say me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm gonna say. Is it is it Ryan Niga Higa? He's pretty cute. Yeah, he's a cutie pie. Speaking of cutie pies, what about PewDiePie? He's pretty cute too. Mm. Oh, I like I like his girlfriend, Marcia. Oh, she yeah, she's very pretty. I like her. Where where did I end up? How did I get up here? I don't know. You just Isn't ended up there, walking aren't up there, here. <laughs> Aren't there notes? That's the thing about- Oh, them. you gotta go smash it on his nose, cause he's like, I chew! No, you don't smash his nose, you shoot eggs at his nose. Oh, he says, I'm all clogged up, please help me. He does, me. actually, yeah, you're correct. Alright, all right, right, watch this, watch this, I'm gonna get it, my, Ready? Michael Fassbender. I missed. Oh. Let's try to get on the cactus. Alright, next time! We'll oh, be wait, back. Really? Okay. Oh, I gotta kill this. 